So Scotland finish on something of a high, a tear in the eye of Fern Cotter as he um, moves on to pastures new. What did you make, first of all, of, of the way Scotland went about their business against Italy? And did they answer any questions for you? They toiled a bit early on, didn't they, to, to, to get into the game and to, and to really dominate. I think you'd like to have seen them come out with a little bit more energy, but they got over the line in a number of different ways. It was Finn Russell who was man of the match, 14 carries, so lots of time on the ball. But in that sort of game, can he do anything to change the thinking of Warren Gatland? Not really. I think, to be frank, you know, your eyes are on the other, the other two games. 14, when you tend to carry in 14 times, you think, what's everyone else doing? <laughs> <laughs> Another potentially who, who is right at the forefront of that conversation, Stuart Hogg. A lot been written and said about his abilities ball in hand, but quite a lot of mentions on social media for his defence yeah. on Saturday. Did he answer any questions in that regard? Yeah, again, you can't just take one, one game. I think that there is question marks there. I think, he, I think he's in my definite category in terms of he'll go on the tour and it's probably um, the favourite at the moment to wear the 15 shirt. You have a weakness, New Zealand will find it. They'll, they'll, you know, of all the teams you'll ever play, they're the ones who who will know about it and be able to try and exploit it. So you've got to you've got to work on that side of your game. And just on a sort of a wider context again, a Fraser Brown or a Hugh Jones, anyone who's sort of come from outside yeah. the conversation to feature. Yeah, Watson, Fraser Brown, I think. That, that could be very interesting. Ross Ford, you know, I think he's solidified their set piece as well. So, and Fraser Brown you know, around the field, I thought has been quite impressive. Had some good steals, and and again, you sometimes think for those guys if they get into a slightly more dominant pack, playing what they what they can do in that situation rather than being, you know, particularly at the scrimmage on the back foot, um, be interesting. I think, I think Johan Strauss is interesting as well. I think, yeah. he, I think he played very well before he got hurt.